As the Online Education Division at Oregon State University, it's important to us that our students get a quality, enriching educational experience that sets them up for a successful future. And since our students aren't physically here on campus, we're always developing new ways to engage them with the learning materials in their courses so that they can meet the same learning outcomes as if they had taken the course here on campus. One way we do this is by staying on the cutting edge of technology and developing new innovative tools here at Oregon State eCampus that weren't available before. An example of this that we're especially proud of is a virtual 3D microscope that we developed that effectively puts a microscope in the hands of every online student. I teach biology courses on campus and online, and I wanted to find a way to give my online students the same realistic and uh, meaningful experience that my on-campus students get. But since the online students can't come here to campus, they can't go buy their own equipment like microscopes, the challenge was to figure out a way to bring the lab to them. We were already in the process of working with eCampus to develop a biology lab series for online students. And so we decided to explore the idea of creating a virtual microscope that would prepare students to use a real one in the future. Our first step in building the microscope was to figure out a way to replicate the in-person experience in an online interactive environment. So I took the exact microscope that students were using on campus and I measured it down to the millimeter so I could model the virtual one precisely. And then using 3D modeling software, I was able to manipulate the basic shapes like cubes and cylinders to build an accurate digital model of the real microscope. So once we had the 3D model completed, I put it into our game development software to animate, program the user interface buttons and the functional components of the microscope so that the student could change the brightness, the magnification, focus, and all the other controls. So then we took the photos of the slides we wanted to use through the view of our real microscope and programmed those to create the virtual simulation. Ultimately, we were able to create a solution for students to maneuver microscope settings uh, the same way they would in a face-to-face -face environment. I've been using the virtual microscope in my online classes for several years now. It allows me to give more realistic assignments in cell biology. Because the assignments are more realistic, it improves student engagement. And the most useful thing the students get out of it is the detailed lesson on how to use a microscope correctly, which is gonna help them when they're asked in the future to use a real microscope. Since we first launched the virtual microscope, we've added more slides and we've continued to update it and fine tune the features as needed. We've now added the microscope to other online classes at Oregon State, and we've even added it to our open educational resource library so anyone in the world can use it. It's been such a great experience, and we're just proud to have played a part in what's become such an important educational opportunity for our students and others.